name is Carol Dotson. I work with the boys when they leave um, in-home services. We have what we call the continuum, which follows the boys home. And I go into their school and I go into their house and I talk to their parents about how they're doing and try to resolve any kind of conflicts there might be between the parents and the child or the parents and, uh, and the school or the child and the school, whatever conflicts there are so that the boys can be successful, you know, throughout the time they're home. I usually stay in the home for at least 90 days. Um, if DCS asks for an extension, it's usually 30 days. Um, they go month to month after the first 90 days. So, um, I usually see them twice a week for the first month, and then we have a progress meeting to see um, if we can step them down to one time a week. And that, all, that can all be stepped back up to two times a week, depending on the needs of the family. They all have access to me um, by phone, 24 hours a day, and um, I rarely get called. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the really good part about being um, called all the time. Um, I really enjoy my job. I really enjoy um, working with families and trying to promote change or um, resolve difficulties or problems. Okay. Another aspect of my job is that um, I work with uh, Hispanic families because I speak Spanish. I worked uh, with my husband in, in Argentina for three years as missionaries. So um, I took Spanish and I've been working on learning Spanish for many, many years. And so I work with the Hispanic families that come through our doors um, with their counseling and with their aftercare, which is in their homes when they leave. So um, it's a pretty big deal for um, you know an ethnic group to have somebody to speak their own language and to understand about their culture and um, their dynamics in their house and what they're dealing with. So it, it's pretty nice to be able to speak to them. Um, sometimes they speak really fast and it's really hard for me. And so I always tell them, you know, to speak slowly. And, and usually the only really difficult thing I have to do is talk to them on the phone because I can't see their face and know exactly what they're talking about when they first uh, come on the phone. So that's something specialized to my job. This is the Smith's house um, and the rainbow that um, was over in the far yard when I came out of their house. Um, the Smiths and their son were having a really difficult time. Um, with his behavior and they were devastated by the things that he was doing and didn't know what to do and so one day I came out of the house and this rainbow was outside um, in the field and obviously I knew it was for them and I asked um, Mr. Smith to come out and take a picture of it because I wanted him to know that you know even things are not going well, right then, they were going to get better, and um, God was giving this rainbow to him to let him know. Um, things did get better, and Troy is a success story. He actually got a degree in criminal justice, and um, we're all very proud of him. And he's even come back uh, to TCH to do an internship. And I believe he made a video um, describing some of the things that... that he was dealing with in his life and I just wanted to share this um, rainbow uh, because it's really special to me double rainbows are always special uh, meaning that God is is always there and always cares so um, this was for the Smiths